Wildlife Photography and in this video I'm going to go through a practical applications and show you how the exposure triangle works in real life. The first thing I'm going to do to get myself out of program mode is to put it into program mode. I will be exposing for the whole scene, not spot metering, not centre weighted, the whole, the whole scene. So the camera is in fully program mode. And from there, I'm going to get a reading of, of an ISO, f-stop and a shutter speed. So from this reading, we will come back here and we will change the exposures. We'll put the camera into full manual, we'll change the exposures to what we want the camera to do. So in the examples I'm going to show you, we're going to come back here and we're going to change some values in the shutter mode and the f-stop. The first one we're going to do is with some running water. Um, so I want to first of all freeze the action and then we're going to make the water look very, very runny. And this is all controlled with the shutter speed. Then we're going to do a little depth of field. We have everything in focus. And then we're going to bring it down to a very, very little bit of our photo is in focus. So let's go and find our first exposure. As I said before, this camera is in full automatic mode. So it is, um, this sign here is for the matrix metering. And at the moment, this is on F, is program mode. Fourth of a second, third of a second of F8 at 800 ISO. Let's just take a photo with this on. Let's get a tap right in and see what it gives us. Okay. That's all blurred. Let's just do this again live. That's better, okay. So we now have our photo. Turn this off. We now have our photo. The readings are, let's go into this. Down here we have the information. So it's program mode, two and a half seconds, one over two, F8. And it's on 800 ISO. So we now have our exposure, which is good. It's half a second, F8 at 800 ISO. That is our good exposure there. Good exposure here. So 800, 800. F8 and at half a second, <laughs> half a second, which is here. Okay, this is our good exposure. So at the moment, the water is very, very blurred, and if it wasn't on a, um, a tripod, we would probably have a lot of camera shake. So what we're going to do is, uh, with the shutter speed, make it quicker. But I want to try and make it really, really fast. So we want to make this shutter speed as quick as we can. So what we'll do is we'll work out how many stops of light we have got to play with. In the moment we're at ISO 1800. So this is 1600's one stop of light two stops of light, three stops of light. So we're three stops now, here. So that makes us one, two, three, one twentieth of a second we're up to now. But this will make our image look very, very grainy and noisy. But it's always a consequence of our actions. So at the moment we're at ISO 6400, and we're here. Now we're going to the um, the f-stop, the aperture 
is midway. If we open it right the way up to allow more light in, we can then increase the shutter speed again. So we're going to go F8, so that's 1, 5, 6, 4, F2, 8. There's 1, 2, 3 stops of light. 3 stops of light to allow us to go 1, 2, 3, 1, 6, dear, 1, 6, yeah, 1, 1, 6, dear, of a second we're up to now. And that is as far as we can go with this exposure here. So what we'll do now, we'll put these into, we'll put these into our camera. So we've got ISO 6400, 6400, 2.8, and 1, 160 a second. And we'll see what results we get from that. So here we are at the back of my camera. So the first thing we're going to do is move it from F8 to, well, oh, first we're going to put it into manual mode. At the moment we're in program. Let's put it to manual. Manual. And then we want ISO 164. So down here up to 64, we want f2.8, let's move in here, and then 160th, and you see this coming in now, look, the 60, so we'll take a photo of that, that's what we look like, put the water on, And take the photo. We have it's better, isn't it? It's very, very. Sh See if we can push it a bit further. So we're going to go one sixtieth, and because we're on live view, we can see if it's dark getting darker. So we go down here. That's a whole stop more. Turn the water off. Oops. So that's what we where we are now. And let's just go back to oops, let's go back to where we were, which was um, we were at Eight. We were at half a second. Half a second, which is there, and we were here. Not that one. Why so? Eight hundred. That's where we were. Oh, need some water. And you can see the difference. You see the difference between those two photos. I'll put them up on the screen. So as you can see from that example, then the water looks totally different between the two photos that we took. So as a photographer, you have to start making some decisions. Now this next little exercise, we're going to use some uh, depth of field. The first one we're going to take um, is a photo in fully programmed mode. We'll come back and do the same thing again. So as before, my camera is in full matrix mode. It is in full program mode, auto white balance. Everything is fully automatic. Um, it's, it's good if you want to, to, to concentrate or eliminate this subject here and you don't want this horrible, horrible rubbish in the background. By using a very, very shallow depth of field, we can blur this. But also, if you want to see it, we can then um, make the small and uh, the aperture very, very small and we can then include 
the whole lot. So let's first of all get our good exposure. So here we are, we're down and reframe. Very, very slow shutter speed. Now, our first lot of settings are program mode, you can see that, f7.1, which is in the middle of, of a stop, and f um, um, ISO of 400. Let's go back with those figures. So our good exposure from that was, our new good exposure was fourth of a second, 7.1, which is um, almost eight. We'll call it eight. Let's call it eight. Zero, we'll just call it that. And we are at a fourth of a second, so things have changed. So, fourth of a second, uh, let's change this. So, we are at fourth of a second, fourth of a second, F8, and ISO 400. That's where we are now, and we want we want our aperture to be wide open. So you want to try. You want to get here. So at the moment we are. We've got some decisions to make. So F8. So we want one, two, three stops down. Uh, I think I'm going to increase this first. Three stops down, so it's one, two, three, one forty of a second. One forty of a second. So we can move that back down to here, so we're now good. F28, so we're down here, forty of a second, and um, four hundred. But I'm holding the camera handheld. So what I'd like to do is increase the shutter speed um, as much as I can. So I'll be I'll be happy if I get the shutter speed two stops. Um, yeah, I'll be happy if I can get the, the shutter speed at least two or three stops up. So I'm going to increase the ISO <coughs> to uh, one, two, three stops up which is 3200, so this will now increase by 1, 2, 3, so we have 1 40th of a second. So our new, our new exposure is going to be this, second, uh, 2, 8, and Fortieth of a second, so we have less chance of camera shake. I could put it up one more and then increase it to here by one stop. But we're we're writing this one down. we will put it in the camera and we'll take a photo. So this is um, thirty two hundred ISO two point eight and one fortieth of a second. Let's go. So I'll put our camera back into a manual mode. So program to manual. We're going to now put 3200 in. Turn it on. Info. So 3200 ISO. 3200 ISO. 140th. So there's our camera settings. Can you see it? So our camera settings, move this out of the way. So we had it went from there to here. And this is a very, very shallow depth of field. Still the same exposure as I'll show you now. It's a little bit brighter. 
It's a little bit brighter. I'll put it up on the screen, it's much better. It's a little bit brighter, so it's a bit brighter, we can increase the shutter speed um, by one stop. So we're going to take the shutter speed up, we can take the shutter speed up one stop, or we can take the ISO down one stop. And I'll be inclined to um, take the shutter speed um, one stop, so it's going to be 40th to an 80th of a second. That looks better. I'll put it up on the screen. Okay, so that was a shallow depth of field. Now let's do the same thing, but make the depth of field as large as we can. So we include all of this whole scene. So that was a nice shallow depth of field. Now I'm gonna open up as far as I can. So this is the smallest hole we can possibly make using these exposures. So uh, we need to try and get up to, up to, a, up to as far as we can. So first of all, we can, um, this is very, very fast. I'm probably gonna put, need to put this on a tripod. So we, we're on trying to get up to, up to at least F16. So that's one, two, three, four, five stops of light we're gonna try and get up to. So we have to try and find five stops. From my SO300 to here, there's one stop. We know the camera's good for 6400 ISO. So, um, so it's one, two, three, four, five. That's one stop. Our shutter speed is, we moved it from 140th to 180th. So it's here at the moment. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, four, one, two, three, four, five. So we're back to half a second and we're need, gonna need to put it on a tripod. And half a second, you're asking a lot out of your handheld. You're gonna handheld it. We'll give it a go at handheld because we'll just give it a go. So it's half a second. F 2.8 and 6400 ISO. So let's go back around there and shoot this. And so this is our new, new lot of settings here. So there's larger depth of field, so we're gonna see only this and very little of it. This is our original setting, and this is what we're gonna dial in now, and we're going to be so ISO is now 64, our aperture is, our aperture, ah, it's F16, it's not that, I, I didn't change it on the F16, 16, and we are at half a second. Okay, here we go. That is very, very bright. So we have some choices to make. I think I'm going to increase the shutter speed from half a second to half a second to a fourth of a second, and that may um, stop some camera shake, and it also make it better exposed. So here we go. Okay, I think, still very, very bright. So if it's still bright, I'm going to um, increase the um, f-stop by one stop. And this will increase the depth of field, is what we originally wanted. That is looking better. I'm going to make it a little bit darker. As I take these, I will put these up on the screen. So I'm going to make it a little bit darker. This time I'm going to change the shutter speed by one more stop. So go from a fourth of a second 
to eighth of a second. Bring it, recompose. Better, right. So I'll put these up. Um, these fo this photo now, um, you will see that there's far, far more depth of field in it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope that explains the exposure triangle more on a practical level than just looking at and crunching the numbers. So, until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye bye for now.